Hey everyone, I got a question from Morgan Kaya this week when she went to a party. She wanted to know. Hi, hope you're doing good. Need a rack. Crispy gouji? Okay, so I don't really eat gouji, so it's kind of a hard question for me. A lot of places in town, they have these big wrappers and then this much filling. So it's not really a good value. It's not really something that I eat. So I was going to make this the shortest video ever and just say, roast the kitchen and leave it at that. But it would be irresponsible if I didn't do some research. So since I was going to surprise myself, I thought I would go and get some gouji from places that people recommended. So one place is Golden Duck, which is on King Street. And as you can see, the filling is pretty generous and it tasted pretty good. And the wrapper was actually fried very lightly, crisp, not hard and crunchy like some other places. Another one is Waimalu Chop Suey in Pearl City because the gouji is super big. As you can see, it's huge. One gouji is a meal in itself. But for me, the filling was kind of missing something, like maybe um, some seasoning or something for texture. So, I mean, it's good value, but not bad. Not really my first choice. Anyway, my last and final place for my research, I went to Roast Up Kitchen, of course. And I was like, oh my God, why didn't I just stick to my original plan? <laughs> Everybody at the party said it was the best gouji that they ever had. And the, the wrapper was um, nice and crisp. It tasted good. The filling was good. And everything was not greasy. All the other pans around town, like the small pan was about $35. At Rosa Kitchen, it was $28. So all around, it was just a good value for me. Okay, so if you have a question, follow me on social media, Melissa 808, and ask me anything. Click the link to subscribe, and see you next time.